Why are blood sugars important for health? Hmm. They are one of the best indicators of health. If your blood sugars or insulin levels are stable, you're more likely to live disease-free. So let's go over each. It's not just for diabetics. Everyone, 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 everyone should care about their blood sugars or insulin levels. Okay? I hope you do now. So if they're stable, you'll have fewer cravings, especially for sweets, especially after your meal. Do you crave something sweet, like a dessert, a donut, biscuits, ice cream, cookies after your meal? And if they're stable, you won't need to snack. If you feel like you need to snack one hour or two hours after your meal, that means your blood sugars are not as stable. If they're not as stable, problema. Problema. That's a red flag there. Better energy. Since you won't have a roller coaster of glucose with huge highs and huge dips. More restful sleep and better mood. There are so many studies that prove that depression is highly, highly linked to high insulin. And who wants to feel moody or have to deal with someone who is moody? I'm not pointing fingers at anyone. I'm just saying. <laughs> Slower aging, your skin is going to look more youthful. And who doesn't want that? Better workouts. You'll have more energy. And you won't have to have a meal, a pre-meal, before you work out. If you can't work out without eating, that's a huge red flag. Problema. Mal. Muy mal. You should be able to get through that hour, two hours max, of training without needing to snack or eat or have a meal before working out. Next, improved fertility and sex hormones. So for women, painless periods. Like we all want that. Come on girls, who doesn't want that? Improvement of PMS, premenstrual syndrome, and PCOS symptoms, polycystic, ovarian syndrome, and menopause symptoms. While for men, hold on, let me move myself so we can read it together. We want stable blood sugars for proper testosterone production. And something very important, to avoid problems with prostate. An enlarged prostate is highly, highly correlated to high insulin levels. Since insulin is anabolic, meaning it grows things, prostate is going to grow as well. If you have problems with your prostate, an enlarged prostate, you have to make sure, you must, you must make sure your blood sugars are stable and your insulin levels. Insulin is an anabolic hormone and it's going to grow things, such as cancer cells, cysts. Does polycystic ovarian syndrome ring a bell? Muy mal. Mal. So let's keep going. Prevent hair loss. Preserve bone and muscle. As we said previously, better skin and fewer wrinkles, and you will produce more collagen. A healthier heart prevent calcification of the arteries, less cognitive decline, and related conditions. And lastly, you guessed it right, prevent or manage diabetes. So again, blood sugars? Kind of important. Kind of. <laughs> kind of.